if they attack our community, we're going to stand up and fight back. We're going to stand up and fight back individually. We're going to stand up and fight back collectively. Powerful words condemning the latest assault on their community. Queens LGBTQ activists held a rally in Jackson Heights this evening after they say a transgender woman was stabbed multiple times last Thursday on 82nd Street and Roosevelt Avenue. We at the Commission on Human Rights take these acts of crime seriously and we do not tolerate any type of homophobia or transphobia. You know, we are all protected under the human rights law. It's the second attack in the same week in the same neighborhood. The first taking place just hours after the Queen's Pride Parade. The suspects shouted gay slurs at public school teacher Brandon Soriano, then beat him up and left him unconscious with a busted lip, cuts and bruises. Sammy Namir said he too was taunted as he headed to the Brooklyn Pride Parade this past weekend. And I was carrying a rainbow flag and when he saw that that man saw the rainbow flag, he started screaming homophobic slurs, intimidating me. During a month to celebrate Pride, the LGBTQ community says they've seen an increase in bias crime citywide. In last week's attack on the transgender victim, she did not report the incident to police out of fear. I think we should uh, speak out because that's the only way, that's the only tool that we have to let NYPD know the number and the gravity of the, this incident so that the city can do something. The LGBTQ community rising up after two hate crimes within days of each other. They say it's more important now than ever that their voices not be silenced. In Jackson Heights, Shirley Chan, Pix 11 News.